right here at Steve Morris Engines. I'm Steve Morris and this is the job we've been working on uh, kind of in conjunction a little bit with Holly and we're doing a little bit of testing and development work and then sharing information back and forth on uh, Holly's 8 injector what they're rating as their 1200 horsepower uh, sniper system. Now what you're going to learn about this thing is this is the replacement for the four barrel carburetor. So this is all the injectors are inside there. You bolt this on in place of your carburetor and wiring is pretty god darn easy. That's it right there. That is, that's a piece of cake. Uh, really simple, really easy. And you know, hook up your throttle body, hook up your uh, uh, fuel line and on these, you're actually going to hook up a, uh, uh, it does have a built-in regulator, and uh, we'll tell you about that uh, uh, later, because uh, we use an external regulator on this for a boosted blow-through application. Now, this motor is a 540 cubic inch F2 non-intercooled pump gas motor. This is a spot-on combination of what uh, this Holley Sniper 8 injector is going to be for. Uh, right spot on the money. The blower is a little bit big actually, but the uh, the whole combination is right spot on the money for where it's going to be. Now you'll see this has one of my my hats on it. So when you uh, buy this from us, we're going to supply this with a tune. Uh, right here is the kit. You can see this is the handheld uh, computer or a handheld uh, screen. Uh, really pretty darn cool. I, I like everything that's in there. There are going to be some things that. Uh, Believe it or not, you do have to still do some tuning on something that makes 1,200 horsepower. It's just a fact. So, you buy this stuff from us, we're going to supply it with a complete tune that you're going to be able to take your blow-through carburetor off, or if you don't have a blow-through carburetor yet, you can put this thing on and it's going to run, it's going to do everything, not going to burn itself up, uh, and not rely on the O2s to do all the correction. So we will help you set up the entire package. As we do with every customer of ours, we help them set up their entire package. Uh, unless they buy like a hat from me and then want to know how to build their engine, that doesn't happen. But uh, if they buy stuff from us, especially like the EFI system, we support that. And we support the Holly brand and we support some other brands too. But uh, uh, this is a really great application for this and very economically priced. You can check this out on our website. Now this is the first one. So there is no other ones out there right now of the 8 injector. And uh, so we're helping to sort this whole thing out. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, set the camera down out in the shop and show you. Uh, this is after we did the tune. Now, to be honest, I did start this up, just entered in the parameters on the screen. And uh, started up and made a baseline pull on it. And actually was, uh, it didn't stumble, didn't hiccup. It was actually... Uh, better than what I thought it was until you get into it and look at the corrections that everything's happening and uh, if you ever have a O2 failure or some other kind of uh, issue with this you're gonna have burned up junk so that's why we still develop and make a tune for this uh, that we will load up and install and will work very well uh, in any application and then we can help you to tune they're actually gonna set this up with a uh, uh, laptop function so it will go right over here and this is a data log that I just took on it and if you want to get into it and actually do any uh, live tuning uh, anything like that that's going to be separate uh, that is uh, something uh, that's going to be part of the system but you're going to have to do extra and I can help you do that show you what to do and actually have this all done but this thing is really uh, as far as simplicity this thing is pretty darn simple uh, and for this horsepower it's great I mean minimal wiring put it on put my hat on set the timing done this thing is really darn good so anyways I'm gonna set this down we're gonna put the go out and make a pull on it and uh, take a look at uh, the rest of the sniper uh, 8 injector system all right now we're outside the dining room here and uh, now I have not done anything outside of using the handheld controller to enter in the engine size and whatnot and have not done anything to the starting yet and uh, this thing starts up and idles which is pretty good idles pretty 
nice. Got a little bit low, but I can turn that up. And that's with a pretty nice easy pull. I'm gonna go in there and uh, shut the uh, data recorder off because I'm actually using the uh, the SIM card right now to data record. And then we'll come back and take a look at the numbers. All right, now taking a look at the numbers. Now, this is after some tuning uh, because it does, even though it is self-learning, it is something that, especially at this kind of horsepower level, this isn't some 350 Chevy with the that makes 350 horsepower or 400 horsepower or even 500 horsepower. This is something that's making 1,159 horsepower at 6,500 RPM. And it's uh, the motor's pretty darn good, so not really any problems with that. I mean, we've got a really nice broad, flat torque curve here. Uh, a good line there at the horsepower. Still going up a little bit. I'll rev it up here in a minute. But what I really wanted to show you is this thing is, uh, you know, we have nice can tunes. We'd actually we'd probably either, if you didn't even buy it from us, we'd just send you a, uh, you could buy a tune from us and uh, buy the SIM card and we would send you the SIM card uh, for the correct tune for uh, any motor, any boosted application um, that is going to make upwards of that 1200 horsepower. But uh, it looks real good right through there. This thing is making, uh, oh, let's see here, oh, that's oil pressure, let me get the uh, boost. Uh, nope, that's the wrong one. Let's see. Report. Boost. Uh, and that was at 13 pounds of boost right there. You can just see it. Sorry. 13 pounds of boost at uh, 6,500 RPM right there. So, anyways. Uh, let me let me uh, go in and I'll grab that SIM card and uh, we will be able to do this all live off the dongle cord uh, just directly hooking up to your laptop to the uh, uh, to the ECU but uh, let me go in there grab that card and I'll show you some co quick stuff on the um, ECU and on the laptop all right now we'll come over here and we'll take a look at this is the uh, the file that's actually still downloading the uh, data log and get that out there. Now you will be able to do this uh, live, and uh, I will be more than happy. Oops, hit the wrong button. I'd be more than happy to help you after uh, and show you how to do all of this. Now it's uh, decompressing a fairly large file that I just saved onto the SIM card. You can also see here um, they've changed some of their uh, way it maps and uh, added uh, color, which is actually kind of cool. I, I happen to like that. Um, let's just get off here. Don't need that. And TPS 100. Um, let's see here. And here is our pull right there. There we go. This is at wide open throttle. Now this is O2 correction, so it's still correcting up here, uh, but that's only five percent. Now, when I first started this, it was significantly more than that. So, um, we're at five, four, three, two, uh, negative one. And right here, I'm gonna have to take some fuel out of it because it's uh, all the way down to negative eight. So, <clears throat> but, you know, I have these really nice features through here. A lot of the same features that you can find in the full-blown Holly version, um, which make this a really nice system to use. Um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it uh, and like I say I uh, you know we're gonna really develop and make these things with specifically for boosted applications and you buy it from us and we'll give you the tune so uh, anyways I think everything's real good through here you can kind of take a look at the, uh, this is a new feature like I said with the color and everything they call it heat and then um, it has a few less features over here um, but there is a, uh, they are building a boost controller into it and some other things. So there's some pretty cool stuff here. Um, all right, now we're back and we have the carburetor on. 
And uh, so everything is exactly the same. We're gonna go after this thing with carburation. And uh, so same boost, same everything. Uh, just carburetor to EFI. Actually, it's a EFI to carburetor. Uh, so uh, pump gas. So we're gonna run this thing uh, just exactly the way we did before. So let's take a look at some numbers and uh, we'll just watch a quick video and uh, rock and roll. And now here is the uh, same tune or same tune just with a carburetor. And as you can see, we're at uh, 1140 at 6600. I think it's 6500 where we stopped on the other one, uh, 1128. So it's actually you know going up pretty decent right there. Uh, but so is the uh, EFI. And uh, so 1140, 963 peak torque. And what I'll do here now. Uh, the AFR was within a quarter of a point, so and timing is exactly the same. Uh, we made the timing exactly the same. Uh, just left the static timing at um, because I don't use any boost control timing here. Uh, is where where you find it uh, has a little more torque down at the bottom. And I'll show you that here. But let's do a uh, graph, the comparison between the two, and there you can see. Let's see here. There you go. And uh, because I don't have the exact same timing curve uh, down here because I'm controlling timing with the Holly EFI, with that Sniper EFI, I'm not controlling timing with the standard MSD. So I just have the same locked out timing um, out here. Um, it was, was at uh, actually like 28 degrees. So that is the locked out timing, uh, it, the same timing from here above. Down here it had a little less timing. That's why it makes a little more torque. But uh, anyways, you can see the difference there. I'm actually pretty surprised because uh, most of the time, uh, carburetors are always going to be a little bit better. Uh, we can take a comparison look there. And that is... Oh, uh, right there was 1159 to uh, 1128. So... Uh, like I said, it's within a quarter point of AFR. Uh, most of the time, carburetors are going to be better than EFI. Uh, but this particular uh, sniper, the way they have the fuel coming into it, the thing's pretty god darn good. So, anyways, uh, that's a good comparison for you. Uh, I think the uh, carburetor guys are going to be struggling. Can we make? Could we spend all day and make this carburetor really good uh, and just perfect? Yeah, we probably could, and we could probably get the the, the same horsepower. Uh, I mean, everything could be really you know pretty pretty darn close but you know it's it, it's still EFI versus a carburetor uh, there's good drivability issues with those things so uh, something to keep in mind but uh, anyways I'm Steve Morris Steve Morris engines have a great day